Hi, this is Jim Lentz, and welcome to our first signature auction of 2023, The Art of Disneyland, from stagecoaches to monorails, and so much more. This sale is set for March 25th and 26th and will feature over 850-plus lots spread over two full days. If Disneyland is the happiest place on Earth, this surely will be the happiest auction on Earth. When Disneyland opened in 1955, it featured the Rainbow Mountain Stagecoach Rides. This attraction was open only until 1959 and featured a fleet of replica 1800s Frontier Stagecoaches. In this auction, we pay homage to the Rainbow Mountain Stagecoach Ride at Disneyland with an actual 1800s Overland Stagecoach. This stagecoach was owned by a friend of Walt Disney's and fellow Anaheim businessman Ben Hathaway. Hathaway owned Tiffy's Restaurant, which was originally located in the Disneyland Hotel in the 1950s. Very few authentic Frontier stagecoaches still exist, making this example a true and rare piece of Americana, as well as the inspiration behind the iconic Disneyland attraction of the 1950s. In 1959, the same year as the Rainbow Mountain Stagecoach Ride stopped operation, the first Disneyland monorail ride took place. The Disneyland monorail began service on June 14, 1959. The attraction proved so popular that a monorail was selected as an opening day feature of Walt Disney World on October 1, 1971. A highlight of this auction is an actual full-size passenger cabin from Walt Disney World's Mark IV monorail. The Mark IV monorail was the first style of the monorail used at Walt Disney World and was in service during the park's first 20 years from 1971 to 1991. With historic lots such as these, this Disneyland auction truly covers everything from stagecoaches to monorails. Along with our stagecoach, an actual real monorail car, I still am shocked by this. Many highly desirable Disney ride car vehicles are front and center in this auction. This sale has professionally refurbished 1967 Mark 7 Autopia car, a rare 1964 Mark 6 Autopia body, a stunning 1965 Disneyland Sky Bucket, and last but not least, a rare dopey ride car from the former Snow White Scary Attractions ride at Walt Disney World. On March 28, 1987, the very first Disney store opened in Glendale, California. By 1997, over 749 Disney stores were open globally. The thought was to bring a bit of a Disney theme park experience to your local shopping mall. The rafters, the walls, and entry displays were decorated with large fiberglass statues created by Disney artists to decorate the store. This auction has the single largest collection of actual character figures used to decorate the Disney stores. Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald Duck, and so many more of your favorite characters are featured in this sale. These large statues in the Disney stores were so popular that the people constantly were asking to buy them. This helped lead to the creation of the Disney Big Figs, a collectible large format versions of your favorite Disney characters. Big Figs popularity exploded and these large figurines were available at Disney theme parks, Disney stores, Disney mail order catalogs, and eventually Disney online auctions. This is our largest collection of the very hard to find Disney Big Figs from the 1990s and 2000s ever offered in auction. There are so many highlights in this Art of Disneyland auction. One of the truly unique and really important sections in this sale is the art of Kevin and Jody. Kevin Kidney and Jody Daly are the renowned artist team that design, illustrate, sculpt, paint, and create some of the most beloved Disneyland and Disneyana pieces for the Disney collecting community. We are proud to offer the Kevin and Jody archives for this sale. This is all new to market with many never before seen pieces that will astound you. It is just one lot after another of jaw dropping wows. No Disneyland auction would be complete without the fan favorite and my personal favorite hand pulled silkscreen park attractions posters. This sale will not disappoint with a nice selection within this sale. Also this Art of Disneyland sale has an amazing treasure trove of park displayed signs throughout both auction days. You will be amazed at the selection of park displayed pieces throughout this auction. A trip to Disneyland in its early years would not be complete without a stop to the Chicken of the Sea Pirate Ship and Restaurant in Fantasyland. Home of the popular Tuna Burgers, this life-size pirate ship was one of the most iconic elements of Disneyland from 1955 all the way to 1982. 
An incredible artifact in this auction is the massive eight-foot Jolly Roger skull and crossbone flag from the Chicken of the Sea pirate ship. This style of flag was so characteristic of the early Disneyland experience that it also was used further in Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean attraction. While we're on the topic of pirates, yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Did you think there would be a Heritage YouTube video without me singing at some point? There are many great lots in this auction that tie directly to New Orleans Square and the fan favorite Pirates of the Caribbean, the Haunted Mansion, and even Club 33. From hand-painted pirate scenes to models of the favorite hatbox ghost to an original chair used in Club 33, this is my personal favorite section of this Disneyland auction. There are just so many amazing lots here. One of my personal favorite lots in this amazing sale is the original concept painting done by Disney legend Duckty, the late great Mr. Peter Ellenshaw. This is an early concept painting he did in the late 1990s for the development of Tokyo Sea Project. It is a kind of full circle career piece as Mr. Ellenshaw's first big assignment at Walt Disney Studios was a Disneyland map painting that would be used for a very early Disneyland postcard and cover of the park's first souvenir guidebook. This original painting by Mr. Ellenshaw is something very, very special. The Art of Disneyland has lots to showcase every aspect of the park. You will see over 850 lots spread over two full days. You will see lots that tie to Main Street, Frontierland, Adventureland, Fantasyland, Tomorrowland, and more. The sale takes place Saturday and Sunday, March 25th and 26th. We hope to see you at the auction at our Beverly Hills office or online at halive.com. Catalogs for our Disneyland auction are always fast to sell out, so be quick to order your catalog on ha.com. As in all our sales, we're happy to answer any and all questions about any lot in the sale. We just remind you to please ask your questions before bidding, not after. Coming up for all our Disney fans are two Disney auctions. First up is the Heartbeat of a Cartoon, the Art of the Disney Animation Drawing Showcase Auction on April 13th. Over 500 plus vintage Disney animation drawings of all your favorite Disney characters from all your favorite Disney animated films are in that sale. Then our biggest Disney animation sale ever comes up on June 16th through the 18th. Celebrating 100 years of Disney, 1923 to 2023 Signature Animation Auction. You won't want to miss that one. So on behalf of the entire Art of Disneyland auction team here at Heritage Auctions, we wish you good luck in your bidding. We hope you find that perfect piece for your collection. And as always, remember, stay safe, choose joy, and stay tuned.